Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Git Merge. So why would we want to use Merge? In the previous episode, I just showed you guys how to create branches to create um, separations in your code base. So you can isolate your code base and you know, divide it amongst your, the team of developers that you have. So why are we going to merge them back into a single branch now? Well, here's the thing. If you're working in a team, you may have five different developers working on five different branches on five different features. But how do you put them all back together, you know, so that they all become one code base that you can then deploy onto your server? That's where merging comes in. And in this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So let's take a look at our terminal over here. We've got the develop branch open and I can take a look at the editor. So if I head over to my sublime text over here, I've got the develop branch active and I have a feature branch. So if I do git branch over here, uh, I will see that we have a feature branch. Now what we can do is uh, let's take a look at what's in the feature branch. So I'm going to git check out feature new feature. All right, so as you can see here, we have line number seven over here added in the new feature branch. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge that into the develop branch. And I'll explain a little bit later about the workflow of branches and why we would have, you know, use multiple branches and, uh, you know, what kind of workflow we should have to be effective. So let's take a look uh, over here. We have, as I mentioned, the new feature. What we're going to do is I'm going to go back to my develop branch. And what I'm going to do is a git merge. So git merge feature new feature. Great. So what git has done now is created a commit called uh, merge commit. Now the new feature branch has now been uh, merged into the develop branch. So let's take a look at what the merge commit looks like. So git log. So we can see that, um, you know, the commit that was the, the last commit that was in the new feature branch is now merged into our develop branch. If you take a look at the top commit message over there, you will see that it says done with new feature. Uh, so that is our merge commit. So if I do, um, so if I copy this hash over here, I want to take a look at what's in this commit so I can do a git show and paste this in here. So as you can see, um, you know, this screen is a, a little bit difficult to read, but it's quite easy once you're used to it. So if we take a look here, this is now we're actually looking into the detail of what's in the commit. As you can see here, um, you know, it tells us that, you know, we are, we added a new line, we added a new, adding a new feature, um, you know, the last line over there in green, that's telling us, you know, we added those lines in there at the end of the file. So that is now going to what was, you know, merged into the develop branch. So if I hit Q over here uh, and I take a look back at the text editor, you will see that the line number seven has now been merged into develop. Now, why would we want to do this? Why would we want to like have the develop branch be the branch that we do all the development work in? And then we have the separate feature branches that branch out from develop and then we have the developers work on those feature branch those that are isolated and then we merge it back into the develop branch. So this workflow, I'm just introducing you to the raw commands in Git that would get you that kind of workflow. But this workflow is what we use here at Codemy. I mean, with Git, you have many kinds of workflow, but this is what we use and it works, right? So it prevents um, your developers from overriding each other's changes. Uh, we don't get that many, um, you know, conflicts, uh, in files and it's been working great for us. Um, so this is kind of like the basic workflow. So what we have is we have the develop branch, as I mentioned, where we do all the development. Then we have the feature branch. We should divide that up into the, to the developers, individual developers. They're responsible for that. They finish the branch and then they merge it back into develop. So there's a few more processes between before the merging actually happens. Like we go through like, you know, checking the quality, we make sure that all the tests are passing, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to talk about that uh, a little bit later uh, in, in the next episodes uh, and how you put in that process to, you know, really assure that the quality of code 
and, and the product that you're merging back into develop is good. Now I have a little diagram over here that explains a little bit more about um, you know, the workflow. So over here we have the develop branch and we have the master branch. And as you can see, they point to uh, two different servers, right? So you would have uh, you know, the, the production server be you know, running the code base from the master branch and then you would have the staging server uh, be running the code base off the develop branch. Now, why do we do this? Well, if you're, you know, working with a client, you always have a stakeholder, whether you're an agency or a product, you have a client who might want to take a look at the new changes and review the changes that you're making, like the new features that you're developing before it actually goes into production. So this process allows you to do stuff like that. So you have one level of a quality assurance where you, know, you have your lead technical leader taking a look at the different branches and making sure that they work great and they've got tests. And then once that's merged in, then you have the second layer where the client or the stakeholder, it may be yourself if you're developing a product, you can review you know, the actual code that's running and you can see how it's, you know, how it's working on the screen. And uh, you know what? tweaks you might want to make. If you want to make tweaks, you might not want to put it in production yet, but if it's good to go, then what we do is we create what we call a release branch. So then the release branch then um, gets merged back into the master branch. And this whole workflow requires you to use some of the Git commands that I've uh, outlined in the previous episodes. In the next few episodes, we're going to be taking a look at Git flow. Now, Git flow is a plugin that allows you to streamline this process and makes it very, very simple for you to use the workflow I just described uh, in this episode right over here. All right, guys, I hope you guys found this useful. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. And we have a lot of exciting stuff coming and I hope you guys love it.